Welcome to the uh, the latest edition of the Three Ring Circus. Didn't they ban circus? They, they don't have them anymore. But uh, yes, uh, John Ringling and P.T. Barnum would be uh, thrilled uh, what's been taking place here in New York over the past couple of days. Right up their alley. And they got their, their buddies in the media to, to play their part as well. Yesterday on uh, Fox News' website. All afternoon. Oh, we got pictures of they had this is one of their headlines. Trump Force One on its way to New York and pictures of it landing. Like like I said, uh, you know, I think <laughs> all we need is a white Bronco. All we need uh, Donald Trump should take a white Bronco from uh, I don't know, his apartment in Midtown down to the uh uh downtown to the courthouse for the arraignment later on today. Um, again, we're, we're playing right into the hands uh, of our adversaries with all of this nonsense. We really are. Um, but th- let me, let me explain to you what's going to happen here. I mean, well, right now, what we know is that, uh, Bragg has bumped up the misdemeanor charges from, uh, falsifying business records, which is usually a misdemeanor. And if you're a first time offender, it's, it's kind of they're not going to put you in jail for that. Bumped it up to a felony because of, I, I don't know, they were trying to hide criminal activity. That, that's what we know so far. I, I don't know. I haven't seen um, the, the, in, the indictment hasn't been unsealed yet. We'll know later on today. Why am I not doing this podcast? And this is the most important point. Of what I'm trying to get across today. Why, why am I not doing this show later on in the day when I can get more information? Um, and, and here's your answer. I've got better things to do with my time. I've got better things to do with my time. And what are those better things, quite frankly? Uh, my daughter has a really important high school lacrosse game this afternoon. And, and I'm going to be honest with you. That, that's a hell of a lot more important to me than this Donald Trump sideshow. Hell of a lot more important. And here's the point I'm going to try to get across to people out there. Um, if this is what's um, the center of your, your life right now, this is what you're tuning in all the time, this is what you're going to websites for, um, you know, I feel sorry for you. Uh, I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pray for you. But with all due respect, okay, again, I'm not Mary Poppins, no spoonful of sugar to make the medicine go down. You need to get yourself a life, a real life. If you haven't been able to take a couple steps back and see what this is, one big fat diversion to keep people focused on the nonsensical. It's right out of the, you know, the whole, uh, you know, let's, let's have a show at the, uh, at the Coliseum there. Let's sacrifice some, some Christians to the lions. Yeah. Woo. Let's, let's, let's pay attention to this, but not what's really important right now as a country, which we, we choose to ignore. I mean, you got to think about this for a second. Let's just put this in perspective. Big story here in this country, uh, Donald Trump and this ridiculous indictment. And again, again, like I said, it's a diversion yesterday. And we covered this on the podcast uh, we learned that the, well, Social Security um, in 10 years is going to be cut uh, by, you know, 25%, at least, payments. So you, you think that this is more important? And first and foremost, uh, Trump ain't fixing Social Security. Yeah, his entire policy when it comes to Social Security is, is it's awesome. It's great. We're not going to change anything. Now, that's great. Man, uh, you got a you got a problem here, and, and you're not going to do anything about it because it's not politically feasible. That's that's not leadership. That's why I hate the whole concept of politicians politically feasible. I, I like leaders. I like people who lead by example. I, I, I like people that are willing to take on the the difficult tasks, the tough tasks. But we continue to get, you know, more often than not, not always the case. These politicians that go after low lying fruit. And I'm going to be honest, this is especially true when it comes to the elephants. 
I, the, the, the donkeys, you got to hand it to them. I, I, you know, like I said, I'm, I'm a conservative guy, not a member of the Republican Party. But when they gain power, they don't reach for low-lying fruit. They, they go for it. Take, take a look at what Joe Biden, and I don't like it, but let's be honest. What, what has he accomplished in, in his first couple of years? When he had the House and he had the Senate, look, look what he was capable of getting through. Look at all the nonsensical spending. Inflation Reduction Act, CHIPS Act, which is another handout to, to corporations, tie-ins to big co- government. His ridiculous COVID package, a couple trillion dollars right there. What, what, what do Republicans do when, when they take power? All right, let's go back to Trump. Okay. Got, uh, got tax cuts done. Um, Republicans didn't have any alternative. They didn't repeal and replace uh, Obamacare. Um, again, some foreign policy wins under the Trump administration. And uh, yeah, again, move the embassy, Jerusalem, all that stuff. But, but again, it's, there are no far-reaching policies. Let's, let's be honest. Let's go back to Obama. Let's go back to Obama. Obama, the first two years, got a lot of stuff done. Stuff that I don't agree with. Stuff that we're paying for right now. Like it or not, he got it done. What does it tell you? Okay. Um, Well, again, you know, you got to hand it to the donkeys as far as going after um, big issues. Uh, Republicans, not so much. But anyway, I digressed a little bit uh, here. Uh, again, uh, my, my point is this. My point is this. This is not important. It's not important. It doesn't matter to you and, and your family. It doesn't matter to people around you. This is a show. This is, this is, this is here to distract you from what's really happening around you. And again, you know, you see how pathetic, you see how pathetic the the Republican party is. And this is all the candidates as they're rallying together to stick together, to defend Trump. I I want one. I want one of these candidates go out and say, yeah, this is absolutely ridiculous. We all know it. Trump's got good lawyers. He'll handle it. But, but I'm here to talk about the issues that are facing this country. We just got word that Social Security in 10 years is going to be cut by 25%. Is that not, is that not more important? Is, is it not more important right now to discuss the fact that Russia is now in charge, going to be in charge of the UN Security Council? Is it not more important to talk about uh, the fact that the, the president of Taiwan is here in this country and, and China continues to uh, pressure Taiwan and what's going to happen next. There, there's so many more important things out there. Isn't it more important to talk about the fact that we're losing 100,000 people a year here in this country, over a million people the past 10 years to drug abuse? The borders are open. I go right on down the line. And I, if a Republican candidate, I'd be like, listen, you know what? Feel bad for Trump. He's got good lawyers. We all know this is a railroad job. But you know what? You know what? He's got good lawyers. He's got a lot of money. He'll be fine. My job here is to talk about the issues. When, when are we going to get some of this leadership? And yeah, this is, this is going after DeSantis, Vivek, uh, the, the whole, your whole crop of characters. That what Asa Hutchinson jumped into the race. Nikki Haley. Bear this no mind. You made your little press release. Continue to campaign. Continue to go out there and teach. Try to get yourself a little bit of attention. I know it's difficult with this type of news cycle, but you will if you make an argument like I just said. But again, they're, they're chicken for some reason, and I, and I don't know why. Anyway, have a uh, wonderful day, everybody. Again, I'm going to enjoy my uh, daughter's uh, ball game where I will not be paying attention to the uh, circus that's going to be taking place in downtown New York. Watchdog on WallStreet.com.